Well, soldiers, the time has come. The one everyone has been waiting for for months at this point. It's finally here. Let's talk Yurok 64. I was going to do it last month, but then some shit came up, but I'm finally doing it. I'll be discussing why this green and magenta clown is not to be trusted nor admired. Why we formed anti Yurok 64. Why we have been at war with this kid for what feels like a lifetime, but in reality probably only a few months. But a lot has happened in those few months. So sit back, grab yourself some food, and without further ado, let's get into the let's talk you all have been patiently waiting for my slow ass to deliver. He is a content creator, that being heavily in quotes, and primarily makes interrupting videos and videos out of his haters. He currently has 835 subscribers and has racked up over 400,000 views. He has a brother named The Living Kid, and also this is what he looks like. <laughs> is that thing's face. So I believe I met Yurok when I was told that he had gotten two of my friend's IPs and they were accurate, so naturally I went to see what the fuck was going on and began arguing with him to take down the community posts, and that is how we began to hate each other. Now into the reasons that I don't like him, or even more reasons that I don't like him. One, he's an IP grabber. Like I just said, he sends people links that leak your IP so he can dox you. He only does this with his haters. I had to issue a warning on my own tab to not open any links he sends, and that was the basis of our original fight. Two, homophobic. As you can see, he is homophobic using this slur and using gay as an insult. He naturally also hates me because I'm also gay. I have also taken all of the evidence in this video and put it into a Google Doc, and the link is in the description. I did this in case he deletes the post because he has been known to do that before after I've embarrassed his ass. Three, bashes religions, opinions, sexualities, literally anything he can. Just like any asshole, he bashes anything that he can, specifically Muslims, Pakistan, LGBTQ, that shit. Also, if you have a different opinion than him, you are automatically put onto his list. Also, quick note, petition to stop using the nerd emoji, the clown emoji, and the skull emoji in every fucking sentence. Jesus Christ, I am getting sick of seeing that shit. 4. Supports pedophilia. So for those that don't know, there is a guy named Arab Nama who is 28 and has been hitting on me and being explicit with me and I am 16. Yurok says that he's a troll, but he's been at it for a month. I don't think he's trolling anymore. Help, I've fallen and I can't seem to get my shit together. Hello? 5. Hypocritical. Like with any 11 year old that also happens to be a fucking nuisance, he's also hypocritical. An example of this would be before he has said to stop the drama because he doesn't like fighting, but then immediately after that he posted two videos. One of them being interrupting, the other being fake screenshots that he made of someone saying the n-word, which leads me to my next point. 6. Inspect Element 
So what he likes to do, especially with me, is use inspect element to make these fake ass screenshots of someone being explicit and saying the N word. If you're unaware of how inspect element works, I will play this short tutorial that I did on it. First, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to highlight the text, not that text, this text. You are going to want to double, t or you're going to want to right click and then you'll see inspect element. You're going to want to click on that and see how it shows a little text here. You double tap, you then delete that and look such a phobe you see and then if we scroll back up see it changed the text seven can't handle hate this is an obvious one. He makes hate videos out of everyone that even remotely doesn't like him. That means I should have my own fucking playlist because holy shit, eight attacking. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. So the whole reason I even got into it was hi with him was because he was going after my friends. He likes to do that. If he sees that he can't get to you or break you open, he moves on to the people you care about like a fucking parasite. He is a fucking... He is a fucking, like, tapeworm that is squirming around in your body. And once that tapeworm is done once you shit out that tapeworm it moves on to its next fucking victim like a contagious little fucking disease he's like covid you know why because he never goes away we thought it would be over in no time but to this day we are still fucking dealing with it nine accusations Apart from accusing me and others of saying the n-word, which we've never said, he has also accused me and a few others of being pedos and of me, and me, of faking my trauma and mental struggles. He accused me of lying about my assault and how I struggle with self-harm, and he's also on the side of both Naxina and SB just because they don't like me. So also there's that, and... I made videos on both of them, so you should definitely go check those out if you have not already. Doing a little bit of self-promotion here real quick. 10. Com this is a compilation of Yurok being a genuine fucking clown with circus clown music playing over it. Headphone users warning, which means warning to me warning to me who is editing this currently turn down your fucking volume i know you like your rock music loud but turn it down for this <laughs> I'm co-leader and my friend Octavia is leader and uh fuck your rock 64 or I'm sorry you're mid 64 you're bitch 64 so that is going to be it for this video I hope that you all learned something or I hope that you at least laughed a little bit at my cringy ass jokes and yeah so that is going to be it for this video if you want to see more of my content or knee slap content consider subscribing if you like anyway i love you all stay safe and never let anybody take your crown